Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmasso at the 1916company.com. It is in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Reach out directly to me, tmasso at the 1916company.com for purchase and pricing details. In 2016, Panerai did something it had hitherto not done, and it launched a dress watch line. The Panerai Luminor Due collection, thinner, more graceful, more elegant in proportioning, was a very different take on the hardcore sports-oriented Luminor model line that had been around since 1993 on the civilian circuit. But as you can see, this watch with proportioning quite different from past Luminor models does have a certain kind of upscale grace to it. You are looking at the Panerai Luminor Due Oro Rosso PAM 677, part of the 2000 2016 debut class of the Douay. Now it is 42 millimeters in diameter, which is I guess small by Panerai standards, though not tiny by dress watch standards, where it really sets its profile apart from other Panerai watches is with a 10.7 millimeter thickness. And then from lug to lug, it's still fairly substantial at 49.3 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now, if this were a Calatrava, it would be huge. But for a Luminor, it's considered to be almost like a midsize. If a standard size is a 44 and something large would be a 47, this is like a midsize. So you can see it is low enough to easily fit underneath the cuff, no issues there. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, and although it is broad across the wrist, generally with Panerai watches, I go by the measurement of the case, not the lug-to-lug -lug span. So you can see that the case is far inboard of my wrist. The lugs have a lot less presence than they do on conventional watches, so I'd recommend this for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. The strap, a very different look for Panerai, this sort of aqua blue, and maybe it's aqua blue, maybe cerulean blue, but it's a very different aesthetic with matching monotone stitch. We have here a rather sheer folded edge, but it is a folded edge, not a cut edge. And then we have on the bottom, a wonderful supple calfskin. You can see this is a brand new Panerai strap, no crimping, no gouging, that 1970s style OP logo. And a more dress-oriented pin buckle rather than the oversized trapezoid we typically associate with Panerai timepieces. You can see the lugs still thrust out distinctively from the case band. It's still a luminor in every respect. You can see that there are little holes in the end that allow you to use your strap tool to remove the strap if you wish to swap straps. And of course, on Panerai watches, even the Douai model, you will find a universe of OEM and custom options. I would say in terms of the case shape itself, it's closer to the Luminor 1950 than it is to the 1990s Betterini case. So if you're wondering what's closest in shape, detail, and proportion, it's a lot closer to the case that was introduced in the modern era on the PAM-127. So we have a conical bezel profile, and we have the famous device protecting the crown. You can see it has the little runner roller bearing inside of it to make the action smoother. Now this is the world's best known crown guard because you can see even covering up the watch you know what brand and what model on. You know it's a Panerai, you know it's a Luminor. And it does have some important functions. Locking and unlocking the crown without threading it in and out is going to preserve the crown seals and it actually offers more protection than a standard shouldered crown guard because if you hit a shouldered crown perpendicular, you can still damage it, whereas this has total protection. The dial is ardoise, or a anthracite sort of gray metallic sunburst. We do have a bit of a fotina treatment here, though it looks more like a compliment to the rose gold than a genuine attempt to pretend this is some sort of vintage re-edition. And then we have a stencil dial, or I guess we would call it by its proper name, a sandwich dial, where you have a stencil with the numerals and indices over a solid loomed disc. This is a long-time Panerai standard dating back to the 1930s. We'll do a loom shot here so you can see. The watch is still dramatically luminescent because the disc is sunken somewhat below the stencil. These little numerals and indices are like deep wells. They have a three-dimensional character. You can also see that the small seconds is luminescent, so you know in the dark that it's running. It does have a surprising refinement. Watch the seconds hand. It features a zero reset second system, so it's easy to set the watch to the second against a reference. And I will say to this movement's credit, it has very little dead angle. Almost from the time you start turning the crown, the minute hand is moving. 
resume operation just like that, turn it over. We have the P1000, actually this is the P1000 slash 10, which is the skeleton version. It's a big upgrade over the older P999. So manual wind, one barrel, three days of power reserve, four hertz beat rate rather than three hertz. You can see it is heavily skeletonized. And while the finishing is mechanical, it's also clean, attractive, and appropriate. It feels upscale. You can also see that it's built like a sports watch movement with a free sprung balance and a full balance bridge to make it more shock tolerant. You can see various designs like the grills, the openings, the coiling of the mainspring, which acts almost like a power reserve surrogate. We have engine turning on the base plate, polished screws, satination across the bridges, and then beveling satination on the wheels. A good looking movement. You will notice 30 meters water resistant. It is a particularly robust 30 meters. Uh, the watch, of course, with a device protecting the crown lock and a screwed in case back, most 30 meter watches don't have that much security. All the same, I recommend this watch only for exposure to rain and hand washing and not active swimming due to the 30 meter rating. If you love this watch, reach out. I am Team Also at the 1916company.com for all of your purchase and pricing questions about this dress and formal oriented Panerai Luminor Due.